Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is um, a redo <laughs> of sorts. I had filmed my week of series and I'm using uh, Saints Angel Center's SAS uh, Cosmetics and I did an eye look with this palette which is Be The Gift. Oh, it was so pretty. But when I went to uh, edit the uh, several of the videos that I had filmed, for whatever reason that was saying file was corrupted. So I'm filming it again. <laughs> um, this should make it easy <laughs> and quick. And I'm just going to use pretty much what I did with the first look with the exception of the transition shade I used a different bronzer there is not a, a transition shade in this palette but there is a bronzer which is what I used so I'm going in with the Milani Baked Bronzer. This one is in 04 Glow. That's what it's called. <clears throat> so, I'm just putting that on my brush. And I'm going to apply it on my eyes. I'm going to use the shadow shield. I want to take this green and then I'm going to follow it up with this shade. those two shades I know that I used in the last look because it was this road so let's see I'm going in it's, it, the green is called elves this one deepen it just a little bit and I'm going to use um, that purple. I'm going to fall out my camera setting or my light setting is to warm I think I had to my carpets were getting clean today and so I take everything off the floor and I had to remove my ring light and it is a beast compared to this $25 I'm using. I'm going to go in with snow globes and cookies. And I am not going to put anything down because I am not going anywhere <laughs> after this. So there's no need to add any unnecessary steps for me to take to get the makeup off but I will wet the brush I don't remember 
which one I picked. I think I'm gonna put the no. So I'm just picking up some of that green. And it's it's actually on the brush. Spray it and see if this gives me enough. taking this all the way to the end but I will be covering it I think it's better with a sponge tip let's see Sometimes these specialty shades work so much better than their high-end inspiration. <laughs> That didn't pack a big punch. This is very hard pressed in here, which is good. green in the pan but it looks more teal on my eyes from the end that I'm seeing so now I want to go in this part of my eye with that other um, sure shade the shade cookies which is that right there this is the first shade I, I used alright let's see oh don't be one that don't come on get you going So close to the edge that using my finger wouldn't help.
I'm pretty satisfied. I do want to go in with a darker color. And I think I'm going to try this purple, which is in the shade Reindeer. I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. Loads up with pigment. I have a feeling this one's going to fall out. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> I will be back. I'm going to clean up the fallout, do all that good stuff, and then I'll come back and we can talk about it. Okay, guys. I'm back with the completed look. This palette is amazing. It truly is you could just do so much with it you could um use it there, there's one two three there's four um matte shades in here and the rest are um duo and multi -poms. and they're just beautiful um i like when they kind of all blend together and i don't have to use a third shade However, I did in this look just because I wanted to kind of keep it the same but tweak it a little bit than my first look. So in my first look, I didn't use that um, reindeer shade, which is right there. So I think it turned out pretty. I'm satisfied with it. All right, guys. Be beautiful. Be kind. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys. This is the completed look.